So hello guys, welcome to a new video on the Sketch App TV channel. This week we are not doing a sketch tutorial or a principle tutorial as we are usually doing this on a Monday, but I thought why not just uh, doing a UX review of a website and maybe this is also some kind of a new series that will come out uh, more than one time on this channel. So if you like this video and if you would like to see more UX uh, website testings and reviews just hit the like button so that I know you like it and you like the video series. Okay so what we are going to do now is to head over facebook.com slash paper and we are introduced by a nice side very clean layout we have a simple navigation right here and we have the ability to share the content of this website. Okay, we have some clean text right here, some nice headlines and for example, um, and also not too much text. So we just have a nice headline and such a subheader, subheadline and a call to action to download paper. Okay, so what happens if we click download paper? We are redirected to iTunes or the App Store and you now see this weird linking right here. So <laughs> I can click the button, the download paper button um, not only in this area but actually right on the page so really weird why this is possible I mean it's not a not that big of a deal but still very weird okay so we can share it using email functionality we can tweet it we can share it on Facebook Okay, so let's see. Okay, we can scroll on the side, but actually we can only scroll the image. So they didn't um, set the background photo to the size of our screen, but they, they just put a random size or something and we can scroll the image. So this is kind of unnecessary because this doesn't get me further information but I can scroll it and it doesn't have any effect. Okay, so let's just click the arrow. So I think this will be the next slide or the next part of the website. Okay, and now we get a little video right here. So let's just watch this. Okay. Really cool video. They are showing us how to use the app right in our browser. So it's kind of virtual reality or prototyping aspect right here. Really nice feature. Um, I love these simple headlines that tell us what is currently happening, happening on the website. And we are also seeing in the navigation that we are currently at stories. So each slide is probably one of these navigation points. Again, we can scroll to see more of the image, but not more content. So that's kind of weird. Okay, can we do anything? Click anything in this prototype? No, we can't. But of course, we still have this download paper button on the top right corner that gives us the ability to download it right away on any part of the website. So that's quite cool. Let's move on. Ah, okay, we aren't getting redirected on the next explore page, for example, but we see more parts of the video and basically some onboarding stuff that gives the user some impression of the final app of the app that they will download and I think this is a great feature because you as a user want to know what, of, what, what kind of app am I downloading right now and what will happen if it's on my phone. So that's some kind of prototyping right here which is amazing actually. Let's move on. 
again the video is continuing and we get some um, impression okay we can tilt our phone to see the full uh, background photo of this uh, article or anything which is an amazing feature for me as a designer you know designers love these features uh, these little um, extras and easter eggs and so on that are hidden in apps so that's quite nice okay now there's no text ah okay there's the text that gives us more context of what's actually happening inside the video okay photo albums nice headlines again let's move on to this okay we can also use videos in the app cool so what if happens if I ah, okay if I click it very fast we are just skipping all the steps so that's quite cool if you just want to head over to one of the sites like this okay now we are at the explore tab and nothing happens right here can we do anything so here's no text really I don't know why here's no text on this part of the website because it says explore so I think can I do anything with these with this prototype with this video on the left side but actually I can't do anything Ah, okay now if I hit the arrow we see that there are more things that we can do okay sometimes I have the feeling that these uh, little animations and videos are a bit too short I think they are, showing, they are showing only small parts of the app and we have to click so many times on this arrow to just get over to the final story. So they could actually just say click, one, click the arrow one time and get a, vi get a video of like 20 seconds or something. But don't click like 20 times on this arrow to get through these simple steps right here. So that's kind of annoying if you just want to browse this website real quick and you have to click this arrow like 10,000 times or something. So now we're at the share page and we see we can create content in the app. Mm -hmm. So you can add photos. Okay. So that's it. I mean, I love this design of this app. I love this design of this website. But these steps are too short for me. So they could easily um, do two or three steps into one. And let's just click through. And on this last page, we just don't have this download uh, paper button right here but we have it right inside our content and actually this is a quite nice call to action website or part of the website I like this big headline I like this sub headline I like all the things that we are currently seeing here because it's reduced to a minimum it's reduced to the things that are relevant for the user you don't want to read like three paragraphs about the app you just want to get some impression of the app by seeing this video and they give us some great context of the app um, and they're doing it good but again we can somehow click this download paper button right in this area right here so until the phone starts at yeah so let's try out some things to test the website a little bit more. Let's just click through this simple navigation to test it if there are any bugs or something. But actually it works out quite well. We can just head over to any of these tabs of these slides and 
they are just um, taking place so it's just easy and actually I like how this website works I think they could have done it better if there were more stories inside one click so if I click this one time they could easily show me more steps than just one um, and but I basically like this concept I like the concept of this app of this website of the things that Facebook did right here. Um, this scrolling thing is kind of weird, so I'm not sure what they really thought about that. And we also have this kind of weird line right here, but don't care about that. So that's my impression of this website. That's a small UX review that I wanted to give you. And if you like this tutorial, and if you want to see more UX reviews, UX testings of websites, just give me a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you have a website that I should test, just uh, head over to sketchapptv slash contact to send me the link to your website. I'm sure we can uh, do something there. Thank you for your time guys, enjoy your week, see you in the next video.